apparently from the previous video, we actually talk about the acceleration of the fluid, right? And then we say that this is the acceleration. Okay, this is totally wrong. Okay, what I mean is actually this is actually not acceleration, but the density across a change in time. Okay, so it is the change of density across time. It is a little. Therefore, it's more more difficult to explain. Okay, from doing this, but how acceleration is being um um explained, it's all correct. Okay, so so explanation of for this is, is definitely correct. But rare, rather than using this, but however, you when when you talk about this equation, this is not actually this is actually not acceleration. This is something else. Actually, mess up with my own own notes. Okay, my note itself said that this is the acceleration, which later I'll just explain because the question itself from from my uh, thing is that it says that the acceleration can be calculated using this equation. Well, however, this is not this is not acceleration, which is wow. Anyway, so let me prove to you what is actually so. So what I say is actually this one. This is the same same formula. As, as just now, what I'm talking about, totally the same. Okay, I'm not gonna cheat you. They are the same. Okay, they are the same. Nothing, no difference at all. Okay, so yeah. So therefore, um, the 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 sign itself. Let's say you know density is in terms of kg over meter cube. Then multiply by because you are multiply with um change in time, so it's kg meters cube per second. What about this? Okay, so you know that this is for this portion over here, and the rest of it they are the same. They share the same phenomenon. I mean the same. They share the same pattern. So the density itself is kg meter cube. Okay, multiply by this is the density portion. Now we're talking about the velocity now, meter per second, and then you divide it by meter, right? Del x. So therefore, you cancel, cancel. You have kg meter cube per second. Okay. So this is a very, very important stuff talking about density, the change in density across time. This whole equation is 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 that. So this region will give us the mass conservation in the entire volume of the flow. By far, I have no idea what the hell is this, okay? But we have derived all these things by so far. So um, now when flow is incompressible, when flow is incompressible, p rho is constant, okay? So when so let's take a look for this, okay? So what does this mean? So I have to jump jump off into into this thing special cases. So that's that's a recap. Uh, we have derived the actually this is not acceleration. Okay, this is actually um density per time. So I've changed the purpose to find density per time, acceleration and position of particle in the motion equation. And then we do for the very first part we actually derive the density per time of a of a particle equation. And then now we're gonna talk about incompressible and compressible concept. Okay, which is this, and then we have two more to go. <laughs> okay, so what is this? So this is simply um, derived from here. So for steady state, okay, for incompressible, incompressible means what? Incompressible means linear. As you can see, for incompressible, density is constant. Okay, density is constant. The fluid is said to be incompressible. So in this case, we can take density as constant. So we can actually throw this away. You see, that is, we don't care about the density. The change in density, we don't care. Nonetheless, you can also say that we don't care this portion over here, we also don't care this portion over here, we don't care this portion over here. So when you have incompressible fluid, okay, incompressible flow, I mean sorry, in the incompressible flow, you have a new equation, which is the the change in meter meter per second divided by meter. Right, pressure x. So in other words, you have um, one over m. You have per second 
there are the changes in per second. Okay, so 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 this thing is changes per second. That's all it says. So it's just it's just it's just something that change across time. That's all. So this this whole equation is just telling you about that. And nonetheless, if you when you have this, when you multiply with a certain stuff, okay, maybe you're multiplying with another meter per second, then you can get the acceleration. So this is the motion I I kind of have trouble with just now. So what I mean is that previously we we talk about that this equation, this whole this whole stuff describes density per time, right? Density per time. But now when you talk about incompressible fluid. Okay, yeah, the density is constant. Okay, so there will, be no ch there will be no change in density. So therefore, all density shall be removed, and there will be only changes in the u direction, the y direction, and w direction. That there is there will be changes in the velocity and the and the distance itself. And then, um, hold on. To further simplify this thing, as you can see, um. We have already removed away all this stuff, so still they are equals to zero. So their u over their x plus their v over their y plus their w over their z is equals to zero. Same as what we did written over here. I don't cheat you. But now in, we are talking about two dimension flow, so we can actually cross away the w. So we only have this portion over here. You can see this portion over here is the same as this portion over here. They are the same. They're the same. Okay. So this is the some special case when you are talking about incompressible. Incompressible fluid, you can you can the rule is constant. So this is the very key concept I'm gonna convey to you. And yeah, so next video I'll just talk about the translation and stuff like that, and then we go to do some questions. I'll see you there.